This video will introduce secondary dominance. In the 8-bar blues, How Long, you'll notice that the chord in measure 2 is the tonic chord with a 7 in the chord symbol. That means it's a dominant 7th chord, and it resolves in the 3rd bar, resolving to the 4 chord. What you can think of is that this tonicizes the 4 chord. It pushes the harmony forward and leads into the 4 chord. The inherent tensions in a dominant chord want to resolve. So hopefully when you hear that chord change, your ears will go, oh, that's leading forward. I expect it to go somewhere. That expectation of forward motion that is a big part of harmony in jazz and all other kinds of music. Now you'll notice in Pine Top Perkins' versions of the song, he also does the same thing in the second bar and tonicizes the four chord with a five, a dominant five of four. Okay, uh, you'll also notice that in the fourth measure of Pine Top's version, you'll see a four minor chord. Now this is something really common. If you listen to the Beatles or a lot of pop music, you'll hear that move to four minor. In this case, it's a four minor six chord. Also, you'll notice that he throws in, in measure five and six, uh, he throws in C, then A7. Now the A7 is a dominant chord that leads to two. It's five seven of two. It's followed by D seven, which is five seven of five, followed by G, which is the five seven in the key of C. This little cycle is called the dominant cycle. Normally we might expect C, A minor, D minor, G seven. In this case, they're all dominant chords, three in a row, A seven, D seven, G seven. Okay, so you might hear that dominant cycle in other tunes, especially in like the, um, the bridge of rhythm changes tunes that we'll cover later. And uh, you'll also notice that in the seventh bar, Pine Top throws in a four dominant chord, just for good measure. I think that one's actually just kind of a color, a passing color chord uh, that fits in there. It doesn't have the function of tonicizing anything. Okay, I hope that helps you with secondary dominant chords. And have a good day practicing.